예, 기도하러 나왔기 때문에 예, 기도 중에 은혜 받고 응답 받기를 바랍니다. And then as a time of prayer may receive much grace and answer. 예, 중요한 기도가 있는데 주님이 우리에게 가르쳐 주신 기도입니다. And there's a very important prayer the Lord has taught us. It is the Lord's prayer. 예, 일단 굉장히 참고를 해야 되겠죠. You must keep this in mind. 어, 누구나 다 기도를 합니다. Everyone prays. 에, 그런데 그 기도가 다 같지는 않죠. However, the prayer is not all the same. 에, 우리는 에, 정확하고 확실한 기도를 해야 할 것입니다. You must be able to pray the accurate prayer. 먼저 하나님은 어떻게 하시는가를 진짜 알아야 되겠죠. You must first know what is it that God does. 언약대로 하십니다. God does according to the covenant. 그런데 여기 이제 들어와서 내게 언약이 돼야 돼. This must come inside your heart as the covenant. 답이 돼야 된다 그 말이죠. In other words, it must be your answer. 각인이 돼야 된다 그 말이. In other words, it must be imprinted in you. 그냥 지나가는 소리가 아니고 하나님은 언약대로 합니다. These are not just merely passing words. God does according to the covenant. 그럼 언약을 따라가야죠, 그죠? Then you must follow the covenant. 그리고 기도가 이 언약이 우리의 기도가 돼야 돼. And your prayer must be centered on the covenant. 다른 말로 하면 요걸 잡고 기도해라 그 말. In other words, you must hold to the covenant and pray. 우리 칠칠칠은 이런 부분에 대해서 아주 체밀하게 구체적으로 분석을 하고 우리 손에 지워진 거예요. Seven 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 prayer has been specified to which you're able to grasp hold of it and pray. 같은 약속의 말씀대로 하기 때문에요. 이게 우리 기도에 굉장히 참고돼요. And this must be kept within your part of your prayer because God does according to the promise. 관계 없이 내 기도를 계속하고 이러면 틀린 것은 아니지만 응답될 확률이 많이 낮죠. Of course, you have every right to pray for your own prayer topics. However, there is a low chance that it will be answered because it is not by the covenant. 기도를 했으면 응답을 받아야 되잖아요. But if you do pray, you must receive answers. 그리고 우리 인생 중에 지속적으로 응답이 계속 나타나야 합니다. And you must receive continuous answer upon your life. 예, 그래 안 되지면 힘들지요. If that does not take place, it will be difficult for you. 갈등 생기고 방황하고. There will be conflicts, and you have no choice 그렇습니다. but to wander. That's the case. 인간은 야탄 응답 없이는 못 살아요. And that's why all people must receive answer as they live their lives. 그래, 그 응답이 지속이 돼야 돼. And you must receive continuous answers. 그런데 이 기도가 이제 깊은 기도로 되지면은. 이건 뭐더 이상 좋을 것이 없습니다. And of course, this is the greatest prayer for you to go into depths of it. 아, 모든 응답이 여기서 다 나오지. You're able to receive all answers from this. 그리고 이런 기도에 들어가면 벌써 그 사람 눈 열려 있기 때문에 마음에 이미 답이 있어요. And for those who go inside of deep prayer, the spiritual eyes has opened to which they already possess the answer in their heart. 답을 가지고 기도하는 거고 기도하면서 응답 받기를 바라고 막 있는 거고는 여. 마음의 상태가 영적 상태가 완전히 다르. And it's a completely different spiritual state of one who truly holds to the covenant and prays compared to those who just pray to receive answers. 이게 답이라는 딱 믿음이 있어야 돼. You must be able to have the faith that the covenant is the answer. 그러면 이 깊은 기도는 이제 누림의 기도가 되지. Then the deep prayer will be the time of enjoyment. 답이 없거나 응답을 받아본 경험이 없거나 이래하면은 누리는 기도는 잘안 돼. For one who lacks to receive answers or lacks to hold on to the covenant as the answer, they are not able to truly enjoy the time of prayer. 응답을 주시라고 구하는 기도는 늘 기도가 늘 되죠. But rather, they are in the prayer in which they continuously beg to receive answers from God. 그런데 응답을 통하여 영적인 깨달음을 통하여 하나님 하나님 은혜를 통해서 요 언약이 딱 답이라는 것이 발견이 딱 되지면 그대로 되면 되기 때문에 그걸 누리는. But by God's grace, when they come to realize how important the covenant is as the answer, they have no choice but to enjoy that in prayer. 네, 별 차이 아닌데 이게 영적 수준에 상당한 차이입니다. And this is a huge difference of one spiritual state. 그러니까 그만큼 기도 차이가 나타나. To that extent, there is a difference within the prayer. 요즘 뭐 여러분들도 유 목사님 메시지 많이 듣고 옛날에도 다 그랬지만 에, 유 목사님 메시지를 잘 들어보면요 아주 명언 투성입니다. In the in the past, until now, Reverend Yu continues to speak such wise words. 아주 뭐 영적 에, 어떤 표현 에, 뭐 이런 부분에서 여하튼 명언 투성이. And when it comes to the spiritual aspect, he is so wise to express and explain the covenant. 제 생각에 
저런 에, 메신저는 없었습니다. 예. In my opinion, I do believe that there is no messenger like him. 훌륭한 목사님들 많이 있고 메시지 좋은 목사님들 많이 있었거든요. And of course, in the past, there has been many renowned pastors with renowned sermons. 그러니까 은혜 된다는 뭐 이런 뭐 표현을 하는 분들 많이 있어요. 뭐 치유 역사 이런 한 분들도 많이 있고 막 그래. There are many who express that they have received much grace and healing. 그런데 절대 개인을 높이는 건 아니고요. 저런 메시지를 할수 있는 분은 잘안 나옵니다. And I'm not trying to exalt him. However, there is not so many people who are like him to testify the message in that way. 연세는 이미 힘이 빠져야 되는데요. 영적으로는 더 힘이다. And within his physical age, as he is growing, it, he is getting older. However, in the spiritual aspect, he is becoming much more powerful within the gospel. 연세 많은 목사님들 자주 한 번씩 얘기합니다. 육신으로 육신의 힘이 빠지면 영적으로도 감각이 떨어져 버려요. There are many of the senior pastors, as they grow older, they say physically they are so weakened to the extent that their spiritual state weakens as well. Uh, and this is what missionary Kim tae said to me once. He spoke about his own mother. And I do believe she was over the age of 80s. And she resides in Busan, in Korea. 이제 한국에 뭐 이래 집회 같은 게 있어 가지고 들어가시면 반드시 부산에 계십니다. And whenever there's an important conference, they they go to Korea in Busan. 이제 부모 그러니까 어머니를 아버님 일찍 돌아가셨고 그 전에 돌아가셨고 목사님이었죠. 에, 어머니를 이제 돌봐야 되니까. His father was a pastor in the past, but passed away, and so his mother lives alone. 그래 한 번은 이런 말씀하더라. 어머니가 이번에는 이래 얘기했다. And this is what he shared regarding his mother. 기도가 전에처럼 그렇게 막안 나온대. In the past, she's not able to pray fervently as she used to. 그러니까 사람이 육신적으로 힘이 빠지니까 영적으로 약간 메마른 달까 이런 식으로 돼가지고 전에처럼 그 뜨거움고 막 입에서 절로 나오던 그 기도가 안 된다. And because she is growing in age, she was becoming physically weakened, so that her prayer is becoming dried up. It's not as it used to be with the consuming passion of heart that she had in the past. 근데 관계 많다 그런 뜻이죠. And that's how it comes to be. 근데 어, 특별히 세운 종이 돼 가지고 우리 윤 목사님은 어, 뭐 내가 내 혼자 그래 느끼는 건 모르겠어요. 에, 요즘 글래 들어 가지고 내가 메시지를 들을 때마다. 이거는 명언이 막 전해보다 두 배, 두 배, 세배 되는 것 같아. And compared to past and now, I come to see that Reverend Yu he speaks so many wise words that I'm able to truly keep in mind. 메시지 잘 들어야 합니다. So you must carefully listen to the messages. 왜 그래요? Don't you think so? 언약대로 하고. Why is that? Because of the covenant. 언약을 말하는 게 메시지. Because the message speaks of the covenant. 음악의 언약에 대한 자기 체험을 얘기하는 것이 메시지. And he stands as a witness to testify the covenant that he has experienced as the message. And there's not much that he says. 얼마 안 되는 그 단어들을 가지고 이래저래 얘기를 하는데 이게 아주 막 계속 명언이. But then the word terms that he uses to express the covenant, it becomes such wide, wise words to keep in mind. 오늘도 뭐 메시지 한세개좀 들었는데, 어이 이거 이 A4 용지를 반으로 나누면요 이쪽에 쓰고 또 이쪽에 쓰고 또 이랬어. And so I was able to listen to three of the Reverend News messages, and he got to explain that in a piece of paper he folds it. He has the left side and the right side. Messages 다 적을 수는 없고 들어가다가 은혜 되는 거 있잖아요. 내한테 메시지 되는 것만 한 줄, 두줄 또는 세줄이 정도 써요. Now, it's actually myself. Whenever I listen to Reverend News messages, I'm able to write down anything that hits my heart. 잘 듣고요, 깨닫고 깨닫는 만큼 들어가요. May you carefully listen to the message. As much as you come to realize the word of God, this becomes the time for you to enjoy inside of deep prayer. And evangelism is done according to the fulfillment of the word. As you enjoy the word, then evangelism is bound to take place. And for you to enjoy the word is prayer. And that is why when you enjoy the word first in prayer, then evangelism is bound to take place. And if you know prayer, then evangelism will take place. And Reverend Yu is able to express himself regarding the covenant, and those are such wise words. 자, 주님이 가르치신 기도의 특징 두 가지 얘기하면 첫째, 완전 기도예요. 
네, there is two characteristics to the Lord's prayer. The first is it is the complete prayer. 기도 제목 한개한 한 개가요. 전체의 답이에요. And each sentence of the prayer topic is the answer. 예를 들면 나라가 임하옵시고 하나님 나라 그한 개만 다른 그 기도 제, 기도 제목 필요 없어요. 그한 가지 완전 영원히 인생 전체 답이에요. And it states in the Lord's prayer, allow your kingdom to be established. That is the complete prayer. 처음에 나오는 것이 하늘에 계신 우리 아버지잖아요. It says, our Father which art in heaven. 이 단어 하나로서도 끝입니다. And with that word itself, it is finished. 저는 원어를 안 배워가지고 잘 모르는데 어, 이제 이걸 이제 공부를 한 분들은 에, 그 아버지라는 단어가 파테르예요. 제일 먼저 나온대. 이 주님 가르친 기도에 일번 나오는 단어가 파텔 아버지. And when it speaks of the Lord's prayer, it speaks about pater, which stands for Father, and that's the importance of it. 나라가 임하옵시며. It says, allow your kingdom to be done. 뜻이 하늘에서 이루어진 것 같이. And just as your will has been completed in heaven. 하나님 뜻이 이루어지면 됐지 뭐 다른 건뭐 필요 없잖아요. What else is needed as long as God's will is completed? 그리고 매일 일용할 양식을 주면 그것으로 끝이잖아요. And give us our daily bread. What else do you need? 욕심이 아주 많은 사람은 뭐 이틀 양식, 삼일 양식 필요하겠지만 일용할 양식을 매일 주면 뭐 그것으로 끝이지만 그래. Anyone who is so selfish, they would want to receive the bread for two to three days, but with the daily bread you receive, that is more than enough. 우리가 우리에게 죄 지은 자를 사해 준 같이 우리 죄를 사해 주옵시고 그랬잖아요. And it says to forgive all those who have debted us as you forgive all things for us. 죄 사함 받으면 저주의 세방인데. And it means that you have been set free from all curse as long as you are able to receive forgiveness of sin. 죄 사함 받은 사람 군세 있어요 배 매물이 깨요. And for those who have received forgiveness of sin, they have the authority to crush the serpent Satan's head. They have the authority to resolve all problems. And it is it with being forgiven of your sin. You have received salvation. Then that's it. And all those who are able to receive salvation, they are able to conquer all things. How are they able to conquer all things? Just simply enjoying the salvation they have received. 그렇지, Most cases, they just simply put the salvation aside, but they don't enjoy it. All you have to do is enjoy it, and you'll conquer it all. 믿고 있는 거 하고요, 언약을 믿는 거잖아요. 언약을 누리는 거 하고는 차이 많이 나지. Believing in the covenant compared to enjoying the covenant, there's a complete difference. 천국에 가는 것으로서는 뭐 괜찮아 같아. Yep. Of course, just by simply ending your life by going to heaven, that's more than enough. 땅에 있을 때는 그 삶이 차이가 많이 나. But as you live your life on earth, there will be huge comparison. But yet there's a difference between the one who just simply lives their life on earth compared to the one who lives as a witness. And there's a huge difference of enjoyment and realization as well. And of course, it's all important. And let us not be tempted. And you don't have to be tempted by Satan. 그러니까 사단한테 안 들어가면 막 끝이에요. And so don't be deceived by Satan, and everything will come to an end. 그래, 다른 거 필요 없고 다만 악에서 구해줘라고. But yet, may you set us free from all the wicked acts. 그러니까 이 중에서 한 개만 있으면 돼안 그래요? And so it's just one thing that you must just simply hold to. 아버지만 있으면 끝이지 뭐. If you just simply hold on to the word Father, that's it. 하나님 나라만 있으면 끝입니다. And if you have faith in the kingdom of God, that's it. 아니, 하나님 뜻이 성취되는 것도 사단 뭐 박살나는 거지. And Satan's head will be crushed as long as God's kingdom and His will is established. 사단이 떠들지 말든지 하나님 뜻이 내내 인생에 성취되면 뭐 누가 무슨 짓을 해도 아무 필요 없어요. 하나님 뜻이 성취되는데. 뭐. And regardless of what may say, who may say it, it does not matter as long as God's will is established. 이게 이제 주님이 가르친 어, 주신 기도의 첫 번째 특징이. And this is the first trait of the Lord's prayer. 두 번째 많은 단어가 있겠지만요, 언약 기도예요. And the second point is the covenant of prayer. 약속한 그 기도. And you must be able to pray, holding on to the promise. 전부 약속들이. It is because God does everything according to the promise. 그리스도 안에 있는 약속이. It is the promise that is contained in Christ. 그래 이걸 기도해야 돼. And that is why you must pray for this. 그리스도 밖에 있는 약속이 있잖아. 아버지가 우리 아버지 되는 데는 그리스도 안에서만 가능해요. You can only have our, your Father God. 
be your father God only when you are in Christ. And it's the same for his kingdom to be established on you. 성, 역사, and all the work of the triune God can only take place in Christ. And that is why before you pray, you must always confirm that you have been liberated from curse. 기도 안 해도 저주에서 해방이에요. Even if you don't pray for that, you have been liberated from all curse. 야곱은 야복강에서 뭐 하나님하고 밤새도록 씨름을 했어. For Jacob himself, he wrestled with the Lord all throughout the night. 근데 괜히 한 거예요. 그러니까 씨름 안 해도 그 야곱 저뭐 에서가 와가지고 야곱 절대 손못 대. And it was such a waste of time for him because even if Esau came to attack his brother, he cannot lay a finger on his brother. 이미 모든 저주의 해방이 하나님이 오래 만들어 버린. And that is how God has worked upon for him to be set free from all curses. 근데 이제 그 야곱은 예, 이 언약을 몰랐으니까 그 언약이 자기한테 이미 있다는 걸 몰랐으니까 그래 벌벌 떠는 거야. For Jacob himself, he liked to know that he first held to the covenant. That is why he was always trembling in fear of his brother. 뱀의 머리 반드시 박살이잖아요. Rightly so, the head of the serpent has been crushed. 틀림없어요. 언약 잡고 살면 차츰 차츰 계속 나타나가 결국은 그렇구나 이랬지. This is the truth. As long as you're able to hold on to the covenant and you live your life, you'll be able to confirm it. 아브라함이 언약 안에서 쭉 살다가 백세의 아들 낳았을 때 그때 그렇다 하고 결단 땅. For Abraham himself, he lived his covenantal life, and one day when he was 100 years old, he was able to make the resolution. 근데 25년 걸렸지. 그래가지고 딱 끝나 그 이후로는 절대 의심이 없어요. 그래가지고. 22장에 즉시 그 새벽 그 다음 날 새벽에 출발해. And it taken 25 years but yet in Genesis 22 it states that he was able to resolve inside of his heart and he stood before the Lord. 숨을래 시간 하나님 누리. And that is why you must be able to enjoy God who is with you for 24 hours. 그리스도 안에 있는 약속이. And these are all the promises contained in Christ. 우리에게 남은 것은 이미 이건 우리가 안 믿어도 우리한테 다와 있는 거고요. And whether you believe this or not, you have already received it. 이건 이제 좀 우리 안에서 성취됐으면 좋겠다. 스물네 시간 하나님을 누리. All you have to do is just to enjoy Jesus Christ who is with you for 24 hours. 예, 축복 있기를 바랍니다. May this blessing be upon you. 우리 모두가 저를 포함해서요 24시의 은혜가 있기를 바랍니다. May the grace of 24 hours be upon us all, including myself. 요즘 우리가 메시지 많이 듣는 거 망대는 은약입니다. We hear so often in the messages that the partisan is a covenant. 여정은 잘 찾아보면 여러분 다 아시겠지만 우리 삶에 적용하는 거예요. And the journey is the path in your life for you to apply. 그리고 이정표 이거는 너무나 중요한데요. 확실하고 이거는 우리의 가야 될 방향이고 단계고 그래. And the guidepost that God has given to you is the direction, as well as the steps that you must take. 단계도 딱 이리 돼요. And of course, within the steps that you take, the level of your life must take place through this. 처음부터 로마를 바로 하는 인간은 아무도 없습니다. There's no one that was able to full force head towards Rome. 출발 그리스도부터. But they all began with Christ. 그리고 다락방부터 출발해야 돼. They all began with the upper meeting. 어느 인간이 로마부터 바로 합니까? 말이 안 되지. It's impossible for anyone to start with Rome first. 그래 지금 이 이정표를 잘 생각해 보세요. 여러분 다 아실 거 아닙니까? 나는 어디쯤 와 있는가? So take a look at the guidepost. See where you stand. 메시지 나오는 거 여러분 지나가 버리면 안 됩니다. Please do not let the words and the messages pass you by. 전부 다를 못 든다 할지라도 중요한 것들은요 잊어버리면 안 돼요. 그 변화가 가거든 이게 지금 이 망대가 옛날에는 삼구삼이었거든요. 이게 중심이었거든요. And even if you are so busy, you must be able to listen to the messages. Even in the past, the partisan was explained in the 393 blessing. 그러니까 삼구삼으로 끝날 줄 알았는데 그게 아니요. 이것도 지금 이것으로 끝나지 않고 다음에 뭐가 나올지 몰라요. And we never know what is the next word that God will give to us. It does not end with the partisan journey and the guidepost. 자꾸 만들어내는 게 아니에요. 착각하면 안 돼요. 깊은 기도를 가진 사람의 특징 중에 하나예요. Do not find a misconception that he is coming up with such word terms. He is in the midst of deep prayer as he enjoys the covenant. 나는 못 만들어. There is no one that is able to come up with these word terms. 하나님이 딱 주셔야만 돼. But yet God is granting it. 그걸 말해야 역사가 일어나요. And the word must be testified, so works are bound to take place. 그걸 말해야 사람들이 따라온다니까요. Word must be testified, so many will follow. 그 사람들은 하나님이 준비한 사람들이에요. And they are the ones that God has prepared. 우리 현장도 마찬가지예요. It is the same for your field. 
이 받은 말씀이 내 것이 된 사람이 말할 때그 말을 따라와요. 사역자는 이걸 알아야 되겠죠. 이런 단어들을 안 그래요? 수많은 단어들을 거쳐가 여기 왔어요. Covenantal words that has been testified. 빌레 몇번 얘기하잖아요. 다락방에서부터 시작을 해가 지금 예, 이게 세 가지 뜰까지 왔다고. It says recently from the message it has begun from the upper meeting and it has led all the way to the three courtyards. 그걸 딱 알아야 합니다, 그죠? You must be able to know this. 그래서 말씀을 예사로 들으면 안 돼요. That's why don't ever listen to the word lightly. 여러분 예, 본부에서 나오는 메시지는 우리가 멀리 가야 될 방향을 딱 말하는 거예요. The headquarter message speaks about the direction that you must take that will take place in the far future. 거기에 진짜로 갈수 있기 위하여 내게 주시는 말씀들이 있어요. And there are the words that God has prepared for you so that you're able to head towards that direction. 개인이 그 말씀을 생각하고 묵상하는 거예요. You must be able to think and meditate on the word of God. 그리고 사실은 중요한 것이 강단이. And most importantly, the pulpit message is very important. 거기에서 진짜 담 나와야 되는데 그담 나온 것의 방향이 본부 메시지하고 맞아야 돼. And you must really come and receive the answer as the pulpit message and the headquarter message are aligned together as one. 그래야 지속돼요. Then you will receive continuous answer. 오래 가고 죽을 때까지 할수 있어요. And you will be able to go to the very end until the day that the Lord calls you. 그래 안 하고 본부하고 끊겨 버리면요 죽을 때까지가 안 돼요. 가다가서 중단해 버려요. I'll be honest with you. If you're not able to go hand in hand with the headquarter messages, you may just simply stop where you stand. 개인적으로는 무조건 정복해야 합니다. 모든 것을 정복해야 돼, 그죠? In other words, you must be able to conquer everything. 문제를 전부 박살을 다 내야 돼. You must be able to destroy all the problems and resolve it with this. 언약을 딱 잡아야지 안 그래요? You must hold to the covenant. 이게 언약이 딱 돼야지. 언약대로 하신다는 게 내게 언약이 딱 돼야지. You must truly hold on to the covenant that God does everything according to the covenant. 그래야 언약에 올인을 딱 하지 안 그래요? That is how you will be able to go all into the covenant. 그래야 언약에 오직을 하는 사람이 되지. And that is how you will be able to do only to the covenant. 이 사람은 이제 기도할 준비가 된 거예요. And then the one who's able to do this has the right to pray. 그전에는 돌아다니는 기도였어요, 방황. Up until then, it was a prayer that was wandering. 언약이나 기도나 같아요, 그죠? But the prayer and the covenant is the same. 그러니까 예수님이 마태복음 6장 33절에 내가 네 언약이고 네 기도라고 한 거예요. And Matthew 6:33, Jesus says, "I am your covenant, I am your prayer." 언약이 언약된 사람은 기도할 준비가 된 거예요. For those who hold on to the covenant, as the covenant, they have the right and the posture to pray. 그전에도 기도 많이 했지 안 그래요? Of course, you've prayed fervently in the past. 알고 보면 전부 돌아다니는 방황하는. But you come to realize that those prayers was all in vain and had no choice but to wander. 이것저것 지 생각대로 말하는 거예요. It was a prayer that was only centered on on one's thought and will. 지 생각대로 기도하는 사람은 지 수준대로 인생이 돼요. And for those who just pray according to their thoughts, they only live in that level. 그리고 지 경험이 아주 중요해요. And they only see the importance of their own. Experience. 아주 중요하다 생각 안 해요 믿는 사람들은. But for those who truly believe, they don't see that so important. 근데 결국 그대로예요 지 경험대로. But to be honest with you, all those who are centered on their own experience, their life takes place according to that. 말은 안 하는데 중요하다 그말 아니에요. 이게 중요하다는 생각이 체질이 돼 버려 가지고 느끼지를 못해. 그러니까 말을 안 해. And to be honest with you, they have their own nature of being centered on their experience that they don't even say it to anyone else. They keep it to themselves as they live that life. 그러니까 이제 무슨 말이에요 이제? So what does that mean? 네 생각대로 하지 말고 언약대로 해라. God is saying, don't do according to your thoughts. Do it according to the covenant. 그래야 네 수준대로 인생이 안 되지. Then you will no longer live the life that is centered on your thoughts. 네 경험이 뭐 그래 중요하냐? 그게 그래 대단하냐 그래 그게. And so why is your experience even so important? 그래 하나님은 네가 그대로 하는 것도 없네 죽는다 그래도. And God is saying, if you follow after your own experience and your thoughts, you have no choice but to spiritually wither. 실패하지 지 경험대로 안 그래요? You have no choice but to fail if you are centered on your own experience. 정복하겠어요? Do you think they have the right to even conquer? 정복 못 하면 실패한 거지. They can't conquer anything, then they have no choice but to fail. 정복 당한 거 아닙니까 안 그래요? Then that means that they have already been defeated. 정복 안 당했으면 이것도 아니고 저것도 아니고 뭐 이래 뭐 이런 거지 뭐. And if they are not able to conquer anything, then that means they are being defeated. On both ways. 생각해 보시고요. 답이 나길 바랍니다. May you really meditate on this and really come to the answer. 뜻을 딱 정해야 돼. You must be able to make the resolution in your heart. 뜻을 정하려면 먼저 발견이 있다. For you to make the resolution in your heart, you must first discover this. 그러니까 뜻을 정한 게 진짜 결심을 한거 아닙니까? 
and for you to resolve inside of your heart is the resolution that you make. So may be able to imprint inside of you as you're able to pray holding on to this resolution. May God's great grace be upon us all. So it has already been given to you. It is the answer that has already been given to you. You already have the answer. And all you have to do is to spiritually enjoy it to which it will be revealed upon your life. And so you must be able to hold to the answer that has already been given to you as the covenant. And it will only be revealed through the personal enjoyment. And this is the inner work that must take place, and this is so important. In most cases, many people they try their best to follow after Reverend Yu's message, but it's not taking place inside of them first. And if it was taking place inside of themselves first, then they would feel so refreshed. But at times they fall into confliction and they resent God because it's not taking place for them. So may this truly take place for you. May you really set the time, kneel before God and pray, God, what is your purpose and reason? So and so you must be able to have this as the answer. So God has given to you as the answer, but you do not hold on to it as the answer. That's the problem. So whether it takes place or not, that's secondary. You must be able to hold to the answer that God has given to you. Then you'll be able to see the work take place. You must be able to receive this as your answer. And for those who are taking place, may you be able to once again confirm and hold on to it and pray. This is the footstool of your prayer. And you must be in the state to pray. And to the point that we will be able to reach the deep prayer and 24-hour prayer. And you must live the life where rightfully the 25 and eternity answer is given to you. May the be upon for you to go inside of deep prayer to enjoy. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you so much for giving us your precious word. Allow it to be our covenant and may you open our spiritual eyes. And may you bless our prayers. Allows to be the prayer of the people of the prayer that are able to deeply enjoy. And allow the blessing of the 24-hour prayer to be upon us all. May you listen to our prayers and answer it. Not only will you resolve the problems, but may you bless us so that our spiritual eyes will open. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray.